Okay. okay. Yeah, we're on. It is Wednesday evening, the 8th, uh, July 8th. Hope you guys are doing well. It is the middle of the week, and it uh, seems like there's a long ways to go. <laughs> Just so many things we got going on, but they're all good. Hi, uh, Andy. Everything is good out here. Hey, Andy. Tom. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I want. I've got actually a lot to share tonight. Uh, I'm going to do a little uh, sand carving demo, so I brought out the little cordless DeWalt. But before I get into that, I want to give a big thank you. When we got home from California the other day, we had this box. And this we opened up this box, and this satchel was in there. And there was uh, some of these cornhole bags. Had no idea what it was all about. I thought somebody was giving me permission to throw stuff at you. Well, you don't need for me. That. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, but we got, uh, there was a little tiny paper. It was from Amazon, but there's a little tiny paper in the bottom from Rob Johnson. It says, for the windy days on the patio, I hope these work better than those rocks. So um, you'll notice there are no rocks we are on rock the table. We are rock free. We now have patriotic bags. So these are obviously cornhole bags. And they got a neat little satchel that comes with them. But I love them. These are so fantastic. Those are fantastic. very heavy material. Yeah, they're super heavy canvas. So, and they're from? Um, these are from... Uh, no, from who? Rob Johnson. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I, I said Rob Johnson. But anyway, but it's uh, free donkey sports cornhole bags. Anyway, um, just, I love them. I love them. So, we're done with the rocks. Yeah, they, those won't tear up my beautiful yeah. dollar store tablecloth. Yeah, I mean, when I throw them, they won't hurt Hi, Chad. as bad as the rocks do. Hi, Stephen. <laughs> hi, Leon. Let's see. Pam Berry says hi. Stephen Harrell says hi. Leonard Davis. Uh, Harrison. Nathan. What? Oh, Harrison? Jason. Jason. God dang not it. Not Julie. I'm trying to be like he sly, was, you're trying, not helping me. She's trying to be quiet. Gary Litchfield. She got you wrong again, Jason. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I don't know. Uh, Richard Barclay, Danny Meadows, Scott Christian, Josh Tolson, Gary Litchfield, Doug Powell, Tessa. Hi, Tessa. You did the, not call, text me today or nothing, but it's been the crazy. The usual so. suspects. Thanks for yes. joining us, guys. Let's see who else I miss here. Mike Coon, Bob Rose, Big Parish. Rob Johnson is up in Mike Coon's uh, neck of the woods. Rob up in Johnson, Henderson, I think right? he's in Henderson or Vegas. Las Vegas. Yeah, up there somewhere. Not that far away. Anyway, I love these. These are so cool. I just dig them. So, let's get into it. I've got um, several of things that I want to go over. A couple questions. And uh, the first one is from Gary. And he says, my lettering does not appear crisp to me. I've made probably a couple dozen signs. Um, so, what I answered to him, what I had problems with in the beginning was getting my letters crisp. And, and this is especially... Um, what do you mean by crisp? Well, I, I, he sent pictures, although I didn't print them out. He sent pictures, and what was the by not being crisp, they looked... The in, they were inset letters, and they looked a little wobbly. Uh, they just didn't look... They looked skinny and wobbly. And that is... Uh, I think that's what he was talking about. And they definitely did not have a crisp look to them. So, first thing... I, and I'm going to do a little demo here with the, um, with the cordless, because this isn't quite as loud as the, the corded router. And so, I've got a couple... I... I gave him a couple suggestions and hopefully he'll see this video too and for you guys that are just starting out um, one of the things that that I like about cutting inset letters is this is my 60 degree bit and I like the 60 degree bit for cutting inset letters dad really likes more the profile bit and many people like the profile bit better for me, I like the wide cut of the 60 degree bit. But what happens is when you're cutting with a wide cutter, a, a wider cutter than the profile bit, 
the more you sand off the board, the skinnier the letter gets. So I'm, I'm going to do a couple things that I think will help you guys, especially if you're just starting out, help you um, have a little bit better look on your inset letters. So what uh, I'm trying to keep this all straight in my mind, everything I want to mention. So I'm going to do, oh, by the way, so just so you guys know, I'm going to be actually cutting on the... <laughs> Sorry, what? they said good job you sprayed already instead of trying to spray on my furniture. Yeah. I learn eventually. <laughs> um, this is just a little board I made. I've made uh, lots of these, but it's just got the little rubber mat on the both sides. And if you guys um, have problems with your board sliding around, this thing, I used to use this for, I use, can use this for sanding, I can use it for carving, whatever. And once you put that board on there, it's just locked Artie in. Artie from Snuggle. Long Island says hi, sorry. Barney? Artie. Artie from Long Island. Hey, Artie. I, uh, we were talking on uh, Facebook, I think. Paul okay. Simon, isn't he the one I just put on the, Paul Simon on the directory? Mm, no, that was another Paul, I think. No. I don't know. Maybe. I don't oh, know did you request to be put on the sign carving directory? Steve from, way, from Livingston, Montana says hi. Who? Steve from. Steve? Um, let me, uh, you know, uh, when I mentioned about being on the sign carving directory, I had several people email me and email me pictures. But what I need you guys to do is if you want to be in the directory, please ask. Put it in the, um, you know, in the subject title or say, please, um, you know, consider me for the directory or something like that. Because sometimes I got several emails with people that just sent pictures, but they didn't say anything about the directory. And I won't put you in the directory unless you specifically, unless I know you want to be in the directory. So please ask, put in the, again, the subject or where, somewhere put in there, uh, ask to be in the directory so I know why you're sending me pictures. Dale Spears says, finally from, uh, finally from the live stream after all these months. Um, Josh Tolson says, uh, Eric, Matt Bay and I are working on getting a few of the St. Louis area sign carver minions together for a sign carver's hangout. You guys need to visit the Midwest. Oh, man. Would, wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That would be I'm way sorry cool. to interrupt. All right. So, anyway, that's the deal with the directory. I was going to men mention at the end. And so, I made send two. pictures, but also say why yeah, you're sending please the pictures. Put in there somewhere. Add me to the directory or think about me for the directory, something like that, so I know why uh, you're sending me pictures. All right, so I didn't bring my cheaters, which I should have, but oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fake it. So when I cut these inset letters, especially, these are one inch and these are inch and a half. When I cut these, I always cut them wider than the letter actually is. And even though you have a skinny leg and a fat leg on, on the A, they both end up being the same when I'm cutting inset what letters. What depth are you going right now? Um, I Well, right now, I didn't bring it around with depth gauge. Hi, right Jimmy now. McAnally. Jim McAnally? Yeah. Hey, Jim. Jimmy. Uh, oh, Jim Jimmy. Jr., yeah. Oh, okay, Jimmy Jr. Hey, Jimmy. Hi, Tracy. Um, So, you always want to cut wider because after you sand, it's the letters are going to get skinnier. So, if you just cut... To the inside of the letter and then you sand and it gets even skinnier that's when the wobbles really kind of show up so i'll give you uh I'll, you know i'm going to cut one right here at normal depth and I, i'm not going by the depth i'm going by the sight um i think i'm about an eighth of an inch or a little bit more let's see if that looks about right i never really know it's until i set it down not as now. easy to get in on that as it yeah. is on so bear with me Hopefully I won't flip the camera around. <laughs> I'm going to move the microphone a little bit so you guys don't end up with bleeding ears. <laughs> but this isn't really very loud. Stop it right there. So you can see, well, I'm hoping you can see, that this line is actually a little bit wider than, God, I didn't even put 
bring a pointer or nothing? The wind's blowing, racking this thing, moving it. Moving the plant, it's all right, it should be okay. So you can see that it's a little bit wider than this line here. I'm coming, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up. But it's actually, I and this one is a lot wider than this over here. So by the time I get done with this A, it is gonna be the same on both legs. Uh, real quick question, is the rubber glued on the board? On your yeah, yeah, that's a, a great question. I should have said that. Yeah, I just used uh, like 3M77 adhesive and put it on there, let it tack up for 10 or 15 seconds and stuck it on there. And I made this <laughs> this board probably a year ago. I said, you know, hopefully I won't turn the camera around. Dale Spears says, just make sure you smile, Vicky, if you do. <laughs> no, it's a panic and run away from the camera's video. That is a duck, yeah. So when you're first, so you can see there, I don't, or you must be down I'm, on it. Uh, right yeah, what I can. You can see there that both legs are the same can size. Can you turn it, tip it up a little bit? Yeah. So when I, when I sand that off, when I spray it, and I could go even a little deeper, but when I spray that and sand it off, I'll lose a little bit of that width, but it still will look good. Now I know what a lot of new people say, that inset letters are much harder than outset letters. So let me give you how I would do it if I was, this is what I'm recommending to you if you're just starting out and you can't pull straight lines like that. Here's what I suggest. Back that off to where you're way inside those lines. Even, even skinny. Let me explain why I did that. If you look at that line, that line isn't that straight. It, it has a little bit of a, a turn to it, but it doesn't really matter. Anytime you can, uh, and this goes kind of to the scribing um, question that we had, I don't know, three or four or five days ago, talking about scribing. This is almost like scribing a line so that when you go back in to do your permanent line, um, most of it's already gone. So what I'll do now is I'll go deeper. I think that's about right. Uh, so Jay Burby says so only about an eighth of an inch then? Yeah, I th I'd say that was probably about an eighth of an inch where this is uh, probably more like yeah, maybe three sixteenths. Yeah, I don't know. See, it depends. Now, I'm doing one inch uh, clarinet letters here, but when I do this, it'll be a different depth. Go by the width of the cut. So are depth. you making both legs the same size? Yes, yes. I did Hi, here. Dad. I did here for sure, and that's what I'm going to do now here. But because I did it uh, shallow first, it'll be easier to hold that uh, to make that line straight because it gives you, it, it's cut away most of the wood already. Sorry guys, the wind is blowing the phone, it's wiggly. See if I can get in a little closer to it. And I can tip it up if yeah, you Yeah, please. Okay. So this one may be a little bit wider than this. And that's why, again, guys, I'm not going by depth. I go by width of cut. But I know when I sand that off, that's going to be a little bit skinnier. And it's going to end up looking, looking the way I want it to. If I start and just stay to the inside of that line, right on the line, then by the time I sand it off, I, that's going to look way too so skinny. So clarify, please. So Artie says, so small letters, you only go an eighth of an inch no. on the... 
Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm just saying, isn't that on your first cut? On your no, first No, that cut? see, Artie, you're you're looking at it the wrong way, and this is really typical. You're looking at it the wrong way. I'm not going by depth. I'm going by the width of the cut. So, and, and that's all relative to what you're cutting. So, again, on one inch letters, I won't be near as deep because it won't because I I am wider. Um, Gosh, I'm not. I'm not describing or I'm not defining this right. You have to get your mind away from the depth of the cut because I, okay. So I'm using a 60 degree bit. If I was using a profile bit, that was another. It would question. be a completely different depth. It would be a completely different depth. So I don't think about the depth, even though a lot of times I use a router bit depth gauge and I tell you guys what the depth is because I get that question a hundred times. So I tell you guys what the depth is, but I want you guys to get into the mind frame of thinking width of cut, not depth. And that is determined on what you are carving and it's determined on what bit you're using. So you guys, so what happens is after a while you'll get used to being able to, I just hold this thing to where I can see what that thing looks like and I think I'm pretty close. So go more by the width of the cut. And you don't have to, if this was a sign that I was doing, you don't have to do that here. Do it on a practice piece. And the first time you set in there, you know, make a, just literally just say, say this is my practice piece. Yeah, that's about right. That's about so what I So Scott Christian says, could you use a profile bit first and then use a 60? You could, bit? you absolutely could. The problem with that is when you do that, you're going to be scribing your, you know, scribe just like I did over here, but you'll be deeper. Um, so yeah, you could do that. I've never done it that way, but you absolutely could. If you feel more comfortable doing that, then go ahead. So Jay says, so use the width of the bit equal to the width of the letter. Yes, there you go. That's it. But when you're carving inset letters go a little bit wider. So make it a little bit wider than, especially on one inch, go a little bit, well, actually on all of them. Uh, not so much on three inch, four inch, five inch, not so much, but especially on the smaller the letter, you wanna be wider than your actual layout letter because you're gonna lose some of that thickness of the letter by your sanding process. If you're gonna sand, which I do, 99.9% .9 of my signs are all sanded. So Danny, Danny Meadows says, that's what I just discovered and what a difference. Tessa says, so you're try saying that even though you may have one side thinner on the layout, you want to cut them the same size. That's what I do. Um, and to be honest, it, it, it's always been, uh, now here, now that's on the one inch, but on the, in these are inch and a half. That wouldn't be the case on the one inch. Yes, I do, and it really makes no difference. For me, it's a, it was always a speed thing, because I'm carving signs as people are waiting, and I'm, I'm doing it on site, and I'm carving. So it, for me, to, to on, the, on the, uh, the smaller ones, if I was to do that skinny and the other one fat, it would take longer, and it still wouldn't look right to me. So these, even though they lay out as one skinny, one fat, now when I do the, um, the inch and a half. Are you gonna? I'll, you're gonna do that? Yeah, I just, I just want to get back down on the board yeah, there. I'll do one of them. I think I'm about right there. You see how my battery's holding up? No, nope, still full battery. That's good. Hi, Mickey. <laughs> see, that's not Tessa enough. said, "Oh, sure. Now you tell me." <laughs> Who said that? Tessa. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you can Hi, see, Artie. 
you can see that this, I came down two passes here and just one pass here. So this is, you know, um, thinner than this lake here. And I did go a little bit bigger, but it's not as much as when, it, when I'm doing here. Now, if you want to have this result, but yet you're starting out, then do the same. What kind of board is that? That smells good. This is cedar. This is my cedar That's fancy. That, that explains it. Yep, that's funny. Danny Meadows says, you mean there are different sides to the letters? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you can actually even get them upside down. I know that's hard to believe for you, Danny, but you could get them theoretically upside down and backwards. Connie Birmingham Adams is watching. Connie Birmingham? Hey, Connie. How are you? Is Connie. she somebody you went to high school with? Yeah, yeah. Actually, she was a girlfriend at one <gasps> for about Connie. five seconds, but she dumped me because I was a jerk, but well, I deserved it. You know what? She learned <laughs> quick. I've changed. I've changed. <laughs> she just learned quick. She learned very fast. Connie, you learned quick. It's Connie only been 39 years, and I still haven't figured it one out. One of my favorite people in the world. I, I she just says, hi, Connie Eric and just, Vicky. Just so sweet. I love Connie. All right, here we go. So what I'm saying here is, let me turn this on real quick. Danny said, yeah, buddy, that's all me, LOL. <laughs> so now I'm going to go skinny again. I'm going to go the oh, same thing I, I did I up here. I backed off. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> you told me you were carbon. You didn't say what or whatever. I know. I'm all over the place. Connie says, you, too, you are too funny. You two are amazing. <laughs> Connie, Tessa tells Connie, good, uh, good job, Connie. Good call, good job. Good call, <laughs> Connie. Artie says, "If you like the Vikings, why hasn't he? Why don't? Why doesn't he carve a Vikings sign?" I'm working on it, Artie. I'll get to it eventually. Hi, David. All right. So here's what I did. I did the same thing that I did up here. I went skinny, and most of the wood is gone. So now it's going to allow me to hold a better line. Okay. I'm not zooming back in. You keep making me go and back carve and forth. Deeper. All right. I'll just do it, and then I'll show you. So I did the same thing here that I did up here where I carved most of it away on the inside of the line. And that's what I would suggest for you guys, you, you brand new sign carvers that are having a tough time and your lines don't look crisp, just like what Hi, uh, Keith. Gary was Hi, saying. Hi, Dale. So that's it. That's, that's my Oh, tip. so. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, let's see. Artie says, I always see that cup. He must like the Vikings. He does like the Vikings. Yes. And Frank got him that cup, so that makes it even more special. Um, and then uh, Lee Harrington said, Artie Borger, because he knows a Viking sign won't sell. <coughs> Leonard Davis says, this must be a day router, no lights. It actually, the lights are on it. Yeah. You just can't see it because it's... Um yeah, but these, uh, you know what, I've found out that I think these are the, like, the they're a different color. I like the other ones better. These are, I don't know, these are warm. I think these are, like, wa a warm color, and uh, I like the cool white, and I think these were a different Connie, color. Connie said, I saw a picture of Mr. Barron under a sign that said the Barons, and was wondering if you made it. I wish I had, but I, I saw that same picture, Connie. No, that's not one of mine. That's a different. It looks familiar. I think I know the guy who made it, but that is not one of mine. No. Um, mine look a little bit different than that. Anyway, so. Um, 
So yeah, if you guys have questions, on obviously email me Eric at makerwoodsign.com and I will I will help you through it. But I'm hoping that that Ooh. is something that can help you brand new sign carvers help you um, make your lines a little bit better. But always remember, if you're using that 60 degree, go wider than what the letter is if you're cutting inset. Isn't okay. the Vikings a high school team? Uh, they might as well be grammar school. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Okay. All right, we'll move on. No, the uh, router didn't come with the lights. They're separate. Eric has a video on how yeah. he put the lights on. Yeah, they're fairy lights. And we have them in our Amazon store, and they come in a three-foot roll. And then I just hot glued them in place, and then just stuck the little deal and the two little uh, uh, like watch batteries in there. Uh, there, that's the best lighting system that I found. Not that particular color. I like the the cool white better. But um, Dale, Dale says soft white and amber look. Amber sent me those, not the clear I ordered. Ooh, who send did? them back? Dale Spear. Amazon, Amazon sent sent the wrong ones. Yeah, I like the cool white. I think better. Uh, they're, okay. they're more so. We don't. Color. It's we don't have time for your. Okay, so uh, this is uh, actually j this one's really quick. This just it basically goes right along with Robert, uh, Rigoberto Garza, who called today. We talked to him. He said, "Can you send me directions on how to find the video on?" Um, the correct way to lay out the letters. So that video is 114, 114. But in in, regard, in regards to that, the channel search, guys, I, I, ch I share this every once in a while. And here is a, uh, something that people kind of get confused with. When, did, you, didn't tell me. when you're going to YouTube, to, if you want to find our videos, uh, you know, all of the thousand plus videos, Go to YouTube and type in Old Dave 100. And I'm going to turn this around. Old O L D A V E 100. Don't go to Make a Wood Sign. Make a Wood Sign is our website. That's what we have a lot of stuff on there, but not videos. Uh, when you go to Make a Wood Sign, that's where we have our supplies, uh, and we have uh, a link to the the seven steps. So uh, this is what Make a Wood Sign website looks like so when you go here to make a wood sign if you click on this tab right here you'll see our seven step course but that's not our regular YouTube videos our regular YouTube videos are on old day 100 youtube.com old day 100 so if you want to see the YouTube videos go here okay oh stinking fly um, and this is what make a wood sign uh, website looks like. Uh, you I didn't Vicky, forewarn me. Vicky's giving me the stink eye, so it's time to put those pictures down. No, you anyway. just you're bouncing them all over. Yeah. So. so okay, um, I'm gonna ask answer a question here. Okay. So let's see. It's Scott. He said he got a, someone asked him to make a sign three foot by two foot, but he wants seventy style lettering. You can go to Defont D A F O N T S dot com thousand and one fonts or just go to Google and type in 70s style fonts and they will come up with a bunch of them. You can get free fonts. You just really, you know, just got to look. And on that, on that, uh, if you do a Google search, just type in 70s fonts, but put the word free in there. Yeah. And then that Google way free you, won't, 70 fonts. You, you won't come up with sites that want to charge you for them. Maybe put a link to your YouTube on your website. I think there is there a, is a link there on is there. a link to the YouTube on the yeah. website yeah um, okay sign no that's digital. what I said it's you've already gone a half hour I know I know I knew that was going to be long all right sign carvers of the day Doug Powell so Doug runs a, a dog rescue okay hold him down you're up here it's okay is that is that what yeah that's there? fine. All right, I'll try and make them there every time. So, uh, I love, uh, Doug does a lot of uh, dog rescue signs, uh, and that's you a really a, good niche, another actually. another bag. Huh? You need another bean bag. I do bag. need another bag. Uh, sideways. Oops. Chuck Young. This is for his daughter's wedding uh, and anniversaries. Um, wedding anniversary, excuse me. 
Uh, the wood is a California live oak, 200 years old tree from wow. his mother-in-law's house that blew down a year ago. So Chuck milled it down, literally milled it all down himself and made a couple signs out of it. Terrific job. Chuck really does beautiful stuff. Very nice work, Chuck. Is he on our uh, sign uh, carver? I think Chuck is. Uh, Roy Smith. So this is three foot by three foot by two inches thick. Red cedar. And this is Roy standing next to it, not the customer. Beautiful work. Three foot by three foot. Great job, Roy. Love it. Beautiful board. Les Snyder. All right. This, let me see if, because that's a bunch of, let me it see is. if I can get up closer in those. So we've got four different kinds of wood. Aspen wood, select pine, cedar fencing, and basswood. Never been a fan of the basswood as far as routing goes, but maybe I just had a bad piece. Anyway, beautiful stuff. Less awesome work, man. Beautiful. Can I see that? I want to see what those. I want to put this up a little closer because it's hard to. Okay, so these are look like little weasels. <laughs> weasels. Mini. Look like little the little critters on that sign. So I'm just trying to hold this up a little bit better because it was there's so much there and okay. Okay. Yeah, in that picture on the. Oh yeah, little ferrets. Ferrets, that's Those what look it like ferrets. Weasels, ferrets. Mongoose. Mongoose. All kind of the same <laughs> Josh Tolson. So this is the one that we were talking about not too long ago. Josh uh, wrote me and asked me this is a, a memorial that his father did uh, for veterans for their family. And Josh asked me what I thought it needed to be set. And it was gonna. His father was gonna pay like eight hundred bucks for a brass plaque times two. Um, and Josh said, "said you know, ask me what I thought." And I thought, you know, maybe HDU would Hold be the way to back go. Back just a little, so we can get the full picture down. Yeah, it's very cool. Down. So, so this is uh, these are actually carved. The their uh, platforms or flats carved and these are carved so Josh carved these out of HDU that's high density urethane so it's foam uh, number 15 foam the first one is uh, one inch and inch and a half or one inch and three quarter inch letters wow. and then this one is three quarter inch and a half inch he letters. has a family member uh Sergeant U.S. Army Korea, yeah, Billy this, J. Tolson. Yeah, th this is a monument that his dad built to uh, their their family, veterans in the family. Oh, that's so cool. So that's what it's all about. It's all about people that are in their family that are veterans. Anyway, Josh did an amazing job. Um, he said, thank you. Thanks for all your help and advice, Eric. Yeah, Josh, you just, you just killed it, man. So these are 16 by 16 and did a fantastic job. So you guys, if you, you know, that's something to think about. If you want to do something uh, rather than wood, you can use HDU. And I've carved it before. Carves really nice. It's not cheap, but um, you then it, you can color it and it works out really, really well. So anyway... We're going way, way long, guys. I apologize, but I really, I'm hoping that that little uh, demo uh, helped you guys out. So that is it. Thank you all uh, for watching. We love you, and um, we will be on again tomorrow night. I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but I'll figure something out. And uh, if you guys have questions, email me, eric at makeawoodsign.com. My nose is itching. Sorry. And um, I'm forgetting something. I know I am. But anyway, I guess that's it, guys. Thanks again. We love you, and uh, we will see you uh, tomorrow, same time, same place. Bye, Have a guys. Bye, guys. Bye, bye.